As May 5th rolls around, the United States gears up for Cinco de Mayo celebrations with vibrant parades, lively music, and an abundance of Mexican cuisine. Yet, south of the border in Mexico, the day often passes with far less fanfare. This stark difference in the observance of Cinco de Mayo raises intriguing questions about cultural significance, historical context, and the evolution of traditions. In the United States, Cinco de Mayo has become synonymous with Mexican culture, serving as an occasion for revelry and appreciation of Mexican heritage. Cities across the country host festivals, parties, and events that draw crowds eager to partake in the festivities. From mariachi bands to taco trucks. The day is a colorful homage to Mexican cuisine, music, and art, however, the origins of Cinco de Mayo lie in a pivotal event in Mexican history, the Battle of Puebla. On May 5, 1862, Mexican forces achieved a surprising victory over the French army, despite being outnumbered and outgunned. This triumph bolstered Mexican morale and temporarily thwarted French attempts to establish dominance in the region. While the victory at Puebla was significant, it did not ultimately change the course of the Franco-Mexican War, which continued for several more years. Cinco de Mayo is mainly celebrated in Puebla, the state in Mexico where the battle was fought, there, it is commemorated with military parades, reenactments, and cultural events. However, outside of Puebla, the day holds less historical significance and is not widely celebrated. Instead, other dates, such as Mexican Independence Day on September 16, take precedence as national holidays. So why has Cinco de Mayo taken on such a prominent role in the United States, while remaining relatively subdued in Mexico? One factor is the influence of Mexican-American communities, who have played a crucial role in popularizing the holiday in the U.S. Beginning in the 1960s, Chicano activists embraced Cinco de Mayo as a symbol of Mexican identity and resistance against oppression. Over time, it evolved into a mainstream cultural celebration embraced by people of all backgrounds. Additionally, the commercialization of Cinco de Mayo has contributed to its widespread popularity in the U.S. Marketers seized upon the holiday as an opportunity to promote Mexican food, beverages, and products turning it into a lucrative business venture. As a result, Cinco de Mayo has become ingrained in American popular culture, celebrated by individuals and businesses alike. However, as Cinco de Mayo festivities continue to flourish in the U.S., some have raised concerns about cultural appropriation and misrepresentation. The holiday's commercialization has led to stereotypes and caricatures of Mexican culture, overshadowing its historical significance. Critics argue that reducing Cinco de Mayo to a mere excuse for margaritas and sombreros diminishes its importance and ignores the struggles of the Mexican people. In contrast, Mexico's more subdued approach to Cinco de Mayo reflects a deeper awareness of its historical context and significance. While the victory at Puebla is commemorated, it is done so with a sense of solemnity and reverence for the sacrifices made. Rather than being a day of revelry, Cinco de Mayo in Mexico serves as a reminder of resilience in the face of adversity. Ultimately, the differing interpretations of Cinco de Mayo highlight the complexities of cultural identity and the ways in which traditions evolve over time. While the holiday may be celebrated with gusto in the United States, its roots lie in a moment of triumph and defiance in Mexican history. As we raise our glasses and dance to the rhythm of mariachi music, let us also pause to reflect on the true meaning of Cinco de Mayo and the enduring spirit of a nation.